Kyiv. On the ground, firefighters raced to put out the blazes. Several apartment buildings in parts of the city fell victim to Russian shelling Sunday. Residents watched on bewildered as their homes went up in flames. I called the firefighters. They said, we're on our way, but we were also being shelled. I asked, when will you arrive? And they said, we don't know. They arrived very late, around 25 minutes later, and everything here had begun to burn. Elsewhere in the city, emergency workers race to save the injured. But rescue operations are hampered by the constant threat of Russian strikes. This was killed. I've got a call and I was told that my daughter was killed. Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, has been a major target for Russia since the early days of the war. The bombardment is constant now as Russian forces shift their focus to the east of the country. The mayor of Kharkiv is urging residents to flee with the help of local authorities. Controlled by Russian troops and pro-Russian separatists, a battalion of Ukrainian soldiers is holding out in the industrial steel district, entrenched and surrounded by enemy forces who say they're preparing for the final battle. The works factory is a vast complex, a maze of buildings and underground passages. So far unable to access the site, Russian troops are just outside it. The Ukrainian soldiers who remain here were given an ultimatum to lay down their arms by midday on Sunday or be killed. But the government says they're determined to fight on. No, city. The city is captured. Russian forces there are expected to join an all-out offensive for control of the eastern industrial Donbass region. Russian everything to ensure its defence. Capturing the strategic city would deprive Ukraine of a major port and provide Moscow with a much-needed symbolic victory.